Hey there. Uh, we're going to do some background papers today with using inks and vellum paper. So uh, let's see. The other materials are is I'm using re-inkers. You really could use any kind of inks. I'm using a little bit of an iridescent ink and I'm using these mini misters. Ranger makes these these nice little mini misters and I usually fill them about halfway with ink and then the other half with water because they're very potent and I would suggest I've got a bunch of these I just keep them filled and I try not to lose the caps and um, they'll last for quite a while and sometimes you need to sort of rinse off the nozzle a little bit but outside of that they, they'll last. Um, I'm also using I have a plastic sheet that I just cut in cut down so that you can open it. It's not happening. There. Not opening. Okay. I've got some vellum papers and I've got uh, wallpaper seam rollers. They're called. They're pretty cheap at the hardware store. Some craft foam, sticky backed craft foam that I cut. I cut the shapes, some shapes out of the craft foam and then uh, the sticky back just you can stick it right on there. I would just suggest not getting too close to this inside edge or it will uh, not roll well. So I'm using that. I've got some scissors um, and um, did I forget anything? I've got some, oh I've got some of this pretty tape. I mean it's called washi tape. I get it from prettytape.etsy.com. I love this stuff totally addicted to it. It's cool because it's translucent like uh, dr drafting tape or masking tape is. But it's pretty. It just is nice and patterned and bright colors. And I have a needle and thread for later on. And I think I think that's it. Well, you'll see. I'm, if that's not a complete list, you'll see what else I'm using. Okay, so here I am with, um, I've got some watermelon reinker from Adirondacks. I've got faded jeans. Um, so I'm just going to load up these spray bottles, these mini misters, and um, you just squeeze in a good bit. This is the watermelon. And then take a bit of water. Okay. And uh, these things are pretty intense, so I, I dilute them. Um, I think they're you're better off diluting them. I It's up to you how much. I put a good bit of water in there. Okay. So, let's see. This is definitely a messy proposition. Okay. Cap off. Okay, so the other thing is this vellum, and I love vellum. It's the, the sound, the sheerness, it's, it's wonderful stuff. And, and the thing that I like to do is fold it and crease it so that you get these lovely white <clears throat> lines and you can create all kinds of patterns with the lines in the vellum and it, they'll still show up. And the stuff's going to wrinkle anyway. So, ooh, that one's actually ripped a bit. That's okay. Okay, so I could go on and on here. But I'll take this one. And maybe put a few more wrinkles in it. I've got this wonderful gridded thing. 
going on. I like that. Okay. Good enough. So, now I've got this plastic envelope that I've opened up. And I am definitely, definitely putting on my gloves here. Because this is messy, messy, messy. So put on your gloves. And if you don't remember to put on your gloves, a nail brush will work. Okay. Actually, I'm going to put that aside. I'm just going to, all I'm going to do here is spritz. And put some of that watermelon in. Put some of that blue in. I might drop a little bit of this. This is um, Dr. P.H. Martin's Iridescent Nickel. You have to definitely, if you get this stuff, stir it up good. Because it's... It can be a bit floppy at the bottom. Okay, so now I'm closing it. And you can see what happens there. I'm just going to kind of roll my brayer around a bit just to sort of mix things up a little bit. Okay. Got that going on both sides. So what we're doing is making a monoprint. Just lay the vellum in. And close it. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. So, that's all pretty wet ink. So I've got some regular old isopropyl rubbing alcohol 70% here. Just poured a little bit into the cap. And I'm just going to sprinkle a bit throughout there. And that's giving me another pattern. That could be real Cool. Okay. Alcohol acts as a resist. It sort of chases away. Well, there's these starbursts forming around it too, which is really nice. Um, because of the nature of the vellum paper, I think you can really get some interesting results here. I'm going to try going into some of these areas with a little more alcohol just to see what happens. Yeah, it pushes it away even further. So there's like a dot and a dot. Let's see how it looks when it dries. Experiment is the, the key word as usual. All right.